Hey guys, how's it going? <clears throat> so today we're going to be calibrating the spray truck. Here's a little bit of what I've what I've done. This is all back from the hookup. Right now I'm putting some water in it. We're just over at my house. Um, I just made little shorty boards to go around it. That way I can throw bags of, you know, I can still carry things. Anyway so that's all mounted right now i'm playing with the idea i have it mounted on the driver's side now last year i ran on the passenger side i just wanted to try this to see how it's going to go if not it's not going to be a big deal to unmount this and spin the entire unit to where it hangs off the driver's side or the passenger side but i wanted to go ahead and give this a go mainly because that's the way I put it on for the guy that day and didn't even realize what I was telling him and then it got hooked up this way and I was like eh, well we'll give it a shot and see I mean it doesn't matter it's gonna be I just have to undo the bolts and spin it and put it right back in the same bolts to uh to run it off the passenger side so we'll see how this goes so right now I'm going to I'm putting in just water into the tank it's got a little bit of residue of fertilizer but nothing that's going to hurt my lawn I'm going to measure out a thousand square feet and then I'm going to time myself just spraying it like I normally would spray it and then we'll bucket test to where we're getting an output of uh, two gallons a minute because I like to do two gallons per thousand square feet so I'm going to time myself then we'll bucket test it and then we'll get it dialed in to what pressure setting we need and then we're off to the races. So hang tight. Alright, we're gonna fire it up. You can see that I got my starter all fixed up from where when it fell off the uh the truck. Luckily that was the only thing that was damaged. Nothing else had to be replaced. <clears throat> One thing we changed was this gauge was it right here, but since I have it facing this side, that wasn't good to have that gauge vibrating against the headache rack. So we just put it on a flex and bolted it up here. That way I can still see it, it's out of the way, nothing's gonna bang it. So if I do spin this unit back the other way, then I'll just undo this, this elbow here and put my gauge right back in it. It'll be fine. And I'll have to get an extension to move this over to the other side, but that's easy, it's just wire. So let's fire this thing up and I haven't started it today so I'll choke her a little bit. So I'm gonna let that warm up and then I'm gonna measure out a thousand square feet. And then we'll get to spraying and timing. We have to start over here. So it takes me about 
between a minute and 16 and a minute and 19 to do a thousand square feet i measured off a 40 by 20 or 40 by 25 <coughs> excuse me uh i did it a few times just to make sure to see where we're at and you can see the way i walk i don't walk in a hurry i don't try to try to get ahead of myself and i'm, I'm probably the one of the slower applicators but this is my spray rig, so it need, it's going to be calibrated to my speed. Now, I was running at 200 PSI, and that was way too much. That was pushing me, well, I wasn't anywhere near the, I wasn't even at the one minute mark, and I was already about uh, four and a half gallons into this bucket, and I need to get two gallons at, a, at least a minute 16. So what we're going to do, actually I forgot my one gallon um, measuring cup at the shop. So we're going to roll this up, take it over to the shop. We've got our time for a thousand square feet on a lawn. And we'll go back over to the shop and we'll keep dialing this thing in until we get the, uh, the time or the gallons that we want. Alright, so we have to run back over to the shop. Two things. One, I forgot my one gallon measuring cup uh, and all I had was my bucket. So I'm trying to eyeball. That was wrong. I know uh, at 200 PSI, I'm too strong right now because I almost filled up the bucket in under a minute. So I'm, what I just sprayed was at least five gallons. I'm probably putting out five gallons a minute on that spray right there. That's more than what we want. Uh, way more. So, and another thing about my neighborhood, I'm working in the front yard and there's probably only two of us on this entire block that is not retired. So here I am, a machine fired up in the front lawn doing something and neighbors just start coming out to see what's going on and obviously they're going to they want to come up and say, hey, what are, you, what are you doing? Is it early for that? What are we? All of a sudden, all the lawn care questions get started. And um, I got to go back over to the shop anyway because they're not going to leave me alone right now. Everybody's bored. This is their first. It's their second week of nice weather. Uh, so any excuse that they can have to get outside to, uh, to muddle around, they're going to come out. I don't blame them. So I'm just going to go back over to the shop where I can get this calibration done. All right, here we go. Back at the shop. Got my one gallon. Got my five gallon. We're going to fire this up. I'm going to back it off to about 150 PSI and uh, see what we get. So I'm thinking we're going to be at about two and a half gallons.
All right, so <clears throat> so right now we're at about two and a quarter. Sorry, someone was calling. So we're about two and a quarter gallons for the minute 15. I'm gonna go with that for now and I'll just know when I mix my first load, that's where I'm spraying at. So I'll go through this process once a month and then once a week before I start the spray, I, I bucket test. But as the season changes and I get used to walking more or it gets hotter or things change during the season, about once a month, maybe every month and a half, I'll actually go measure myself on a thousand square feet and time myself to see what it's taking me to spray and recalibrate to how I'm moving. So anyway, guys, that's it. That's how I calibrate my, my truck. And uh, we're getting ready to start spraying next week. So let's rock and roll. Thanks for watching.